And today I want to talk about using uh, Google communities for discussion boards. Uh, there are a lot of tools out there to use for discussion boards. Uh, one of the more popular ones may be Edmodo. Um, there are a lot of other uh, platforms like D2L who also have uh, pretty good uh, discussion boards integrated. One of the reasons I like communities for discussion boards is because it allows you to delegate moderation of the various discussions. Now, this is not something that's available in a lot of the other tools. So, in other words, if you want to give your class an opportunity to have a discussion and choose one or two of the students to be moderators, um, Google Communities is the way to go. And another thing I really like about Google Communities, if you have uh, Google Plus activated and you have uh, your account set up for your Google Apps, you don't have to create a whole new set of passwords and usernames, etc. So I'll show you how to add um, a, a moderator to uh, a discussion. So here are some private discussions that I've set up. And uh, if you know about Google Communities, you do have the option to either go private or public. And if you're in an educational domain, uh, Google Apps account, you can also uh, make it another layer uh, just within that domain. In my case, I set them up as private. Um, so if I want to add a user, how do I do it? Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add somebody. Uh, at the top here, you invite people, and you have to type their names in. So I'm going to invite my other account, and I will click Send. Okay, so let's see if the invitation has been accepted. Yes, you will see the bottom, uh, the avatar that just invited, and we kind of confused, it's the same name, but this person is now a member of this community, and he has no privileges except the privilege to post and to uh, comment and or to plus one. So let's go and have a look at all the members in this community, and I'll talk to you about uh, quickly at a glance, how do you just see who's a moderator? Well, you see the ones with the stars are moderators. Those who don't have stars are members. Now, if you want to promote them, you can click over here and uh, promote from member to moderator. So now uh, I have two moderators, the original owner, the teacher, and in this case, this is meant to be a student who I've promoted. So now this student has a right to comment, to delete comments, to uh, add members, to invite people. So if you're trying to create an atmosphere where the students play a little bit of a leadership role in your classroom, Google Communities is definitely the way to go. Um, let's have a quick look here. So one thing they are able to do, just so you're aware, is they can turn on notifications and play around with those settings, but I would have a quick conversation with them to let them know how that works. One thing I often do with uh, moderator students is I give them the responsibility to invite people. So let's, I did that once, but let's do it again. Um, now, if you have circles set up, you can just invite a whole circle. Uh, but if you don't, you'll have to do it one email at a time. Let's type the name of a student. So I would click this student and I would, uh, you know, then click send and he is invited. I could add several students at once if I want to go a little quicker. This is a really great way to, uh, quickly add people to your Google community and get things going. All right. Hopefully that video was useful to you. If you have any comments, please uh, leave a comment below. Thank you very much.